Um, so trumpet, I I kind of fell into the instrument because when I decided to join it, like when I was in school, we would all start off on recorders. And so, uh, yeah, we all started on recorders. Um, depending on how you excelled on that instrument, they helped to determine where you would go next. I did very well on recorder. And if, at the time, if I had my choice, I would have stayed on that instrument. But once I got to middle school band, there was no place for it in the marching band or in the concert ensemble. And so choice had to be made. The way it was determined back then, and as an educator, I can look back on, on this method and, and kind of chuckle a bit, but you had to take a, an, an entry theory exam. And upon that, uh, the results of that exam helped determine which instrument you would end up. You would uh, choose your first choice, your second choice, and of course, your third choice. My first choice was saxophone. I thought that was a natural transition from the recorder, what I was already playing. And my second choice was saxophone. I thought, again, if it didn't work out the first time, maybe the second time. And for the third choice, I just kind of left it blank because all I wanted to play was saxophone. And uh, and the church band, uh, the church I attended, saxophone was very prevalent. Uh, someone who's a superstar now, who was a rising star then, was the uh, the saxophonist at our church was Kirk Wellham. Uh, his father was my pastor. Um, and so seeing that instrument on a regular and around that time when I was a child, that's when Kirk really blew up and got the huge gig with Whitney Houston and he would come home every Christmas and every other holiday in summertime to see him up there playing in the pulpit with the band. I thought that's what I wanted to do. So when the opportunity came around, I took the theory exam. I failed it miserably. Um, so the band director at the time said, eh, based on your physiology, you know, you're a, kind of a hefty kid. Uh, you have more supple lips. I'm going to put you on a tuba. <laughs> it's like, ah. And so, um, the thing was, it was our responsibility to find the instruments. So once my father was tasked with the, uh, the, the ordeal of finding it, couldn't find one that was affordable. The next choice from the uh, band director was trombone. So the search began to find a trombone. And again, couldn't find one that was affordable or at least in good enough condition. By the time um, it was time to start school, my father found an old trumpet at a pawn shop. It was in terrible condition. It was like an old con. And um, they would joke about it and tell me, man, there's a uh, there's a trumpet on the side of that dent because it was in such terrible condition. Um, the next thing I know, though, I, <laughs> um, they, he showed up with this dented up trumpet. I got to school with it and the band director was furious. She's like, that is not what I told you to play. I couldn't even get a sound on the instrument. So the first day I got no assistance with that. I went home and I was just blowing my brains out nothing nothing i thought the instrument was broken second day of class i brought it finally the band director said well since you have the instrument now the way you create sound is to buzz so she showed me the little bumblebee noise got my first sound and thought oh i can do this and then i ended up excelling on that instrument extremely quickly and all of the little band classes you know, we were out of the yamaha band student books back then uh, I was, you know, three or four pages ahead of the rest of the class all the time. I, I really did enjoy it. And by the time I got an opportunity to play it more professionally, I ended up playing in the church ensemble. And every now and then Kirk would come in and he doesn't remember this, but he actually gave me my first theory lessons uh, from the church pulpit, just showing me how to, you know, showing me how the chords kind of coincide with each other and how to play on top of those chords effectively. He, I don't think I don't think he even knows what kind of impact he had on me back then. But that was essentially the beginnings. That's how I got into trumpet is because of the combination of of kind of falling into the instrument, but getting a chance to play it both in school and in kind of a semi-professional situation at church. And that, that just became my thing. That's what I was known for at this point.